What's going on my people? Corey Reese here and I'm back as promised to show you how to achieve the great battery life with the Nexus 4. First, let's take a look at my current battery situation. Right now I'm showing at 46% and I haven't charged it over a day. Pretty much after the video yesterday I charged it to 100% and I haven't had to charge it since then. So how did I come up with this little method? What I did was I took my Nexus 7 and my Nexus 4, I charged both to 100%. I took them off of the charger and I did not touch either device for over six hours. What I found out is that the Nexus 7 battery dropped to 97% and the Nexus 4 battery dropped to 87%. So I was like, you know what? I know the Nexus 7 has a bigger battery, but why, if I didn't touch the device, did it drop 13%? So when I thought about it, of course the Nexus 7 is the one that I own is Wi-Fi only and obviously the phone has data associated 3G, 4G, and things of that nature. So what I did was I went into my mobile data and I actually turned it off. Once I turned that off, the battery life automatically improved. When I want to actually use the internet, I'll just go right back in, turn the mobile data on, and I'm good to go. You still will get your calls. You still can text message. You can do everything that you can do with the mobile data off, except for using the internet, obviously, uh, navigate yourself to locations, but that's just a quick flip of a switch here in the mobile data. Also, another option that you can turn on or enable, go into your Wi-Fi settings, hit the button here, go into advanced, and right here it says keep Wi-Fi on during sleep. I turn mine to never. It says increases data usage, but you don't have to worry about that once the data usage is actually off. So what this means is basically when your phone is actually asleep, it still won't be trying to connect to your Wi-Fi and, and do those things. As soon as you turn the phone on, of course, obviously it'll, turn, it'll connect back to the Wi-Fi network. So you're good to go on that end. Okay, so let me show you a quick graphic of how much the data being turned off can help your device. So what I did, the next couple of graphics I'm going to show you is just screenshots once I reach 7%. So basically, I started watching videos until my phone dropped to 7%. It gave me the notification that I needed to connect my charger. And basically, you know, once that message comes, you don't have too much longer before the battery is going to die. So at 7%, I turned off my mobile data. And as you can see, it's 511 right here at 7%. As I flip to the next screenshot, it's 6 o'clock. 729, still at 7%. 838, still at 7%. 1103, still at 7%. 1225, still at 7%. And it wasn't until 141 when I was using the phone a little more that it dropped to 5%. So as you can see, with that mobile data turned off, you will get a great increase in your battery life. So your results may vary as far as how long you will get out of the battery life. But I promise you, it's going to make a world of difference turning on the data when you need it instead of leaving it on all the time. So as you guys test this out, go ahead and make sure you do some response videos and let me know what kind of battery life you're getting after you're turning your data off when you're not using it and turning it back on. See if that makes a difference. All right. Corey Reese Photography signing out.